The USS Sandy drops off the new science team on Mars and picks up Richard and Diana to take them home. And James doesn't even notice the silence between them. Diana spends all her time on the return trip confined to her quarters. And within a week, they are home. Welcome back, Diana. I am so excited about becoming a grandmother soon. So this weekend I will take you shopping so we can buy items and supplies for the baby. Oh, that won't be necessary. Hi. <laughs> Richard, what's wrong? I was only trying to help. I'm sorry, Mother Debbie. We actually suffered a miscarriage while still on Mars. And we didn't have a trained gynecologist over there, so she still needs to have a pelvic examination to make sure there's no lingering damage. Oh, no. I am so sorry. You have told me many times to be more sensitive to others' feelings, Debbie. And now this happens. Carrie, I am not a mind reader. But I will avoid Diana for at least a couple of days. And if she wants to talk about the painful loss she suffered, I will listen. My mother had two miscarriages after I was born. She said she wanted a daughter. Then she needed a hysterectomy. She was so disappointed at not having one more child, and then we lost my brother who you are named after, Richard. I was also named after my grandfather, Richard Smith, and he also died violently. I once had a dream that I also died a violent death in a cafe where I had gone to meet friends and relatives and they didn't recognize the one who shot me. But the hatred in his eyes scared me. Nothing in life is a guarantee. I am so lucky to have loved Diana ever since we were children. She is my shining star and I will always treasure her, even if we never have kids. As long as she understands that, she will recover from this. Go and comfort her now. and the two lay down together on the bed. No words, no grand gestures. Just being there to hold each other. <laughs> 